Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Oh my goodness, I have such a fun project for you guys today. So of course I'm switching it up, right? <laughs> Outside the One Page Wonders. And I came up with this fun little, I wanna call it like an embellishment treasure box because I'm making lots of room. And you guys, this is so easy. It was a bomb on my desk while making this, trying to figure out probably the best way to do this and the easiest way to do it. This is probably going to take you guys minutes, but it took me a couple of hours to put together. But you can have this closure any way you want. I'm just using the elastic for now. I originally had a Velcro strip on it, but I kept opening and closing it, opening and closing it. And guess what? I tore my paper. So I have this on here for now. And this is what I mean by the closure. And you can see that this goes super far. I wanted it to be really stretchy so you can fit so oops my little thing's coming down here uh, I wanted it to be really stretchy so that we could fit anything we want and I wanted this to be very durable so I'm using my 110 pound uh, cardstock and some regular cardstock for the color my Rosie's uh, cardstock in the back of these but I don't know I just this can be for your dies for your stamps it can be for swaps and let me tell you i made it so that we have a lot of leeway room so like here's these beads here that i'm using so i'm just going to put this in here and granted the other pockets but i want to show you that with that pack it still closes like fully okay obviously if you fill all the pockets not like that so that just shows you how much wiggle room is in this but this came out really cute and there's a million types of accordion things you can do but this really is going to be solid and durable and last forever and honestly the zigzag accordion sometimes it gets on my nerves okay i i have to admit i don't love accordions unless it's a really small amount if it's like those big ones i don't know i find it a bit overwhelming so i like this method all right enough babbling let's get to it all right let's start with this base cover okay all right so let's start with the bottom so again this is going to be 110 pound is it 110 or 115 pound weight so i've got this bottom piece here and this is going to be eight and a half by 11 inches and let me grab my scoreboard so at the 11 inch score right here we are going to score it at five and seven inches so again this is going to be the bottom five and seven. So let me just kind of show you what this is going on here. Make sure you really take your bone folder. And if you don't have heavy cardstock, of course you can do this with regular scrapbook paper. But if you want it to last and be durable and you want to have it in your craft room sitting and you actually want to use it, use try to use the cardstock. So this is gonna be our bottom piece and you can see that the front here is going to be just a little bit shorter than the back. So right here like this. And for this view, I'm sorry, I'm not used to this view. I'm used to doing it over here so you guys can see it. All right, so let's put that aside and let's do the lid. Now the lid is gonna be eight and a half by seven inches. So at the seven inch score, we're gonna score it at two and four inches. Now, if you want this to be a little thinner, all you have to do is adjust, you know, all these little measurements, but you know, just some inspo. Okay, and this is gonna be easy peasy as far as putting it together. So, again, take that bone folder and really dig in there and get that, because we will need this to be as crisp as possible especially if you're going to be opening and closing that lid constantly okay so it's going to go like this and the long piece here is going to be in the front of this so this is easy this is just going to basically i made this a little thick so that when we glue it on it really has that extra leeway like on the back you see what i'm saying so we're gonna pop that on, it's gonna go like this. Now, this is the fun part that I liked and I forgot to show you, is if you even want your album or you're making an album and you want it to be like this, like you can have this cute album. It doesn't have to go like this, it could even go this way. And they could just like open it like a book. 
There's so many dyes and things, but we don't really need all that. Okay, so let me glue that lid on. And these kind of projects look overwhelming, like if you see it online or you see it on a blog or something, like any type of project like this, but they're actually just simple. You just have to really piece it all together. So again, remember the shorter piece kind of goes in the back here. And then I'm just going to pop that on. Okay, and boom, right there is our little box. See, that's already, that's like the hardest part. Okay, so should we cover this now? Yeah, let's do this now. All right, let's get these pieces on here because I want to complete the box and then we'll like do the inside. All right, so let me get this going here because, oh boy, there's a ton. Okay, I should have wrote this down. Hold on, I'm probably going to write as I go along because I didn't do this. All right, so, okay, so this top cover here, I wonder if you guys can just see this. I really don't want to write this all down. Okay, okay, here, let me do this. So the top here is going to be, this piece right here is going to be eight and a quarter by two and three quarters, okay? So eight and a quarter with two and three quarters height. Now you want two of these because uh, you have to do your inside. So wait a minute, where is my second one? Hold on, you guys. I don't seem to know where mine's at. I must have misplaced it, but anyways. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I do have it. Just kidding. So these are going to be, so you're going to have two of those. And one is going to be in the front. And one is going to be in the back. Okay, so those are the same exact sizes. And I think I'm going to do mine like that. So let me glue that on. I don't remember who it was that asked me to use these papers again because I had some in the leftover pack. So here you go. I had been meaning to do something with the rest of these papers, but I really wanted it to be a fun, fun project. All right, so just glue that. And you can see, if you want to use something colored, please be my guest for the cardstock. I just didn't really have anything left with a heavy, heavy weight. So I'm using this. So... Now, also, if you want a closure, like a ribbon closure, like before you paste all these papers on, maybe add your ribbon so it can be, I'll show you in a second. Oops, I'm trying to get this on perfect because you really don't want to mess this up with the borders. So it's going to look like that. But anyways, so let's say you're covering all these corners. Like if you want the ribbon, maybe do all of that before you put this on so that you know you can hide it underneath all right got that done now the bottom here this cover right here that is going to be eight and a quarter by three and three quarters sorry that paper is super vibrant so mine's going to be here and you don't need one on the inside because that's going to be kind of closed up so I think I'm going to do that. What's this? Yeah, that prints too much. Oopsie. It would not be a video without me tumbling something over. And by the way, my son finally went back after that little bug he had. It just doesn't stop you guys. Like, it has been... I told... I mean, I was a sickly kid, so I can see why. But I feed my son so good. Like, fruits and all sorts of things and it doesn't matter they still get whatever it is is out there it's funny because my friends that feed their kids terrible it's like they don't get sick so they tell me that i have to feed more bad okay so there's that okay and then let's do 
the other pieces here, which, what did I do with them? All right, so the side strips. So you're gonna need three, unless you don't wanna do the bottom. So actually, did I do three? I don't think I did. Oh, you can have three, but did I do my bottom? I didn't do my bottom, or did I? So the strips are gonna be one, two, and then three on the bottom. I actually did not cut the bottom piece out, so I'm just going to do this. I'm gonna do one here. Wait, let me see which one looks better. So you guys can see. Definitely the pink, because I got a lot of pink going on. So I'm gonna put that one there, and I'm gonna put one inside. And then if you want one on the bottom, use that measurement here for that third. Honestly, I was scrounging with this collection, the rest of these papers, because I just didn't have that much left. I had just enough to make this album. And you could even put a little handle on here if you want one. I had thought about that. Like a cute little handle right here. That would be so sweet. I'm gonna put this one right here. I don't know why this looks a little shorter. Maybe I cut it short, but that is in fact a measurement. If you don't tell, I won't tell, okay? <laughs> Yeah, it is a little bit shorter. I think there was a paper I messed up on. Okay, so basically we have that covered. Aside from this and the back, I didn't cover. If you guys want to do that, you can. Um, I think you could probably put this one here and this one probably right here. So just a FYI. And don't worry about this because we're covering this. All right, so let's. now that our cover's done, let's do the inside. And that's super easy because I've already done most of them for you. So we're going to need five of these. We're going to need, come on, five of these because I have five here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so cut out five of this measurement and it's going to be nine by five and a quarter. So all we're doing is scoring three times around at a half an inch. So just two short and one long. Make sure the bottom is, you know, your, the way your print is facing the right way. So that's going to be the bottom. So three times around at a half an inch. <clears throat> okay, and once we do that, I'm going to... Just chop off those little squares on the bottom piece that we scored. Now, the reason, so we did that album yesterday, or not yesterday, the other day, that accordion. Now, the reason why I'm not doing it that way is because this album is about eight inches wide. So that obviously won't work. So if you cut this down and you want it to be easy, like how we did that fun fold, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link the tutorial to the one we did. It's an easier way to do these. So that's why it wouldn't work. Obviously, a 12 by 12 paper can only go about six inches when you fold it. So that's why we have to do it this way, just an FYI. All you have to do is make your album a little smaller if you want to do that other like easy effect that would take even no time at all. So once you do your little scores here, now we need the back piece and you're going to need five of these as well so this is going to be eight by four and three quarters and this is going to be our back okay so that's how i'm popping this on now i'm using the cardstock because number one i like the pretty little effect it gives when you look through but if you don't have cardstock you can use just regular scrapbook paper but i'm telling you the cardstock is what makes this a bit more durable when you are creating this album and if you want it to last a long time and just be like durable so you can like abuse it a little bit you know what i mean with scrap of paper it'll still be fine but let me tell you there's so many ways you could have done this we could even have just stacked these on top of each other without the back but like i said i wanted it to be durable and lasting and something we can really have in our craft room or snail mail that is going to last a long time so just all we're going to do is pop that on after you fold it. And 
put it on straight. <laughs> if you don't, just trim it. I've had to do it. Okay, so you will do that five times. That's honestly the most time consuming part. And that's probably what took me the longest is trying to figure out which papers. So imagine I had to do this twice. <laughs> okay, so again, this is one, two, three, four, five. So we have that all lined up, right? So let's grab our little album here and I'm gonna show you what's going on. It's very simple. All we're doing is stacking it basically. So hold on, let me see how I want this. I want it like this. Or do I want this in the front? I think I want that in the front. All right, so. I'm just gonna grab some tape. You could grab any, any. It could be thin or thick. I think I'm going to use the thin one because I like the kind of, I don't know. It's just got a little extra leeway in it. So I'm just putting it on the back and I'm popping this on the back cover here. Actually, I need to set this up because you want this to be sitting on this bottom ledge right here. So you want it to go like this. All right, so you see how it's sitting right here on this ledge. So that's what we want. And then we're just gonna stack the rest. Now, remember, don't put it all the way to the end because you want it to have that accordion effect. And if you seal it, it won't give you that like bounce, if you know what I mean. Oh my goodness, what did I rip? <laughs> okay, and I'm just trying to do it so you guys can make sure you can see it too. I'm gonna put this one up here. So, oh, let me squeeze that down. So you see how it's kind of going now and you see how we have that little leeway right there. And that's what we're gonna do five times. And just, and you can see I'm not using a lot of tape. Just kind of popping it on there. And also when we pull it out, see how I'm not putting anything on the bottom because you can pull it out that way. That's so we can just go like that. Otherwise, if we do it, we're gonna be constricted and this isn't gonna move. So that way you can fill it up with whatever you want. And honestly, you could maybe even stuff six envelopes if you want, if you're that, but honestly, I don't know who, I wanna see what you guys fill this up with. If you're making handmade embellishments or whatever it is. So there's this one. All right, and we got one more. I am super chatty Kathy today. I'm sorry, you guys. I've been stuck with a little guy that's been sick and kids are not, don't communicate the same. <laughs> okay, and here's this one. So here we go. And if you would, now we want this to be a little bit more secure, right? I mean, you can leave it, but you want it to have a little bit of tug. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal that on here too. So you take that and just kind of put it up, stretch it a bit. And then it's gonna sit up for you. Let's see how it does that. So as far as the, um, I feel like I put that on a little bit. So as far as the punches go, I did my punch after because I wanted to be able to see the cardstock punch through. So I'm kind of just going along each one. Like that. Wait, did I forget one? Yeah, I did. This back one right here. So... Seriously, how easy is this for something this durable? And then you can just decorate if you would like. I honestly just like it just like this. I think I might just leave it like that. But anyway, just for fun, I had just taken a little bead right here and just wrapped it on here. And I thought that made it really fun. I just kind of poked it in between. You might even want to do that before you tape it. 
I just kind of hit it in between. I went like that to give it that pretty like bead thing going on. So yeah, um, this is pretty much it. But I don't know. I hope you guys like this. I really, really enjoyed this. And I think I'm going to have fun with this. Now I've got two of these. I don't know. this. I think this is perfect for like storing stamps. So if you make one album like this and the cover is Christmas, you'll know, okay, all my Christmas stamps are in here or all my spring stamps. You know what I mean? Like, or your dyes or whatever it is. You can really keep it organized. And here, let me show you how it looks like together. So if you have a shelf or something and you're kind of putting it on your little craft shelf, they just look like these little books up there. And you can even like label it here. You know what I mean? So anyways, okay, I'm done talking about this album. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And let me, I, please tag me in this. I'm dying to see what you guys do for this. All right, guys. Thanks so much.